What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough. Okay, so... We came back home, we got ourselves a Master Ball, now it is time to go away from home, and... Now it's time to... Yeah. Now it's time to go straight to Ecrotech City, because apparently, uh, Professor Elm has gotten word that the Komodo Girls want to see us and all that stuff. They were looking for us, probably because we, we were just like, we were stud muffins and all that stuff. Now... Throughout our adventure right here in Pokemon Heart Gold, especially in Soul Silver, you will actually notice that you have, will be running into the Komodo Girls from time to time. In Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, you straight up just battle them and find out that there's two new evolutions and all that stuff. But right here in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you will actually run into them in specific points and they will actually tell you some kind of weird dish about, you know, something, a legend. Or whatever. The Legend of Silda. I don't even know. But now, now that we defeated Team Rocket, now that we've defeated all eight badges, and we got the Master Ball, we're going to be going straight to them instead of going to the Pokemon League right now. So now, before we do anything, yes, I got myself a Mystic, uh, Mystic Water because that was something that we needed. And we're going to be going straight to Ecrotech City to the Ecrotech Theater right here. So look at us. Ecrotech City, what's up? How's it been? It's been a few months. And we're going to go in here. Look at that, the dance theater. And before we go in there, thud. Oh, yeah. Silver got his butt kicked by the Kimono Girls. Like, badly. He got dog stomped. Ganica. And, of course, he's telling me that, you know, the five Kimono Girls are very, very hard. Of course, don't get too cocky because you defeated Team Rocket. These girls are not going to take it easy on you. And, of course, he's pushing us, like always. Flipping you off, buddy. Flipping you off. Okay, so here we are, and we are going to be taking on five Kimono Girls, and each one of them is going to be talking about some kind of legend. Now, since we are playing Pokemon Heart Gold, yes, everything that has happened to you to at this point has a meaning, like the eggs. The egg was given to you because they wanted to see the trueness, the pureness of your heart and all that stuff. And, well, here we are going to be battling Zuki first, Kimono Girl Zuki. And she is going to be coming out with an Ombreon now. Ombreon, as you probably already know, is the Dark-type evolution, and it is a trickster of a Pokemon. Very defensive and whatnot, but do not worry, guys. We can still beat these guys. Alrighty. So, now, before I continue any, any anywhere further, before I start going raging on this one, something very special has happened within the past few minutes right here as I'm recording this. Uh, as I was looking at the comments for my Pokemon Snap video, the first episode, I noticed a YouTuber commented, uh, on my, on, on my, on my video. And I was very, very surprised. I was so surprised, guys, because, holy crud, I'd never thought I'd see the day where Light, Dark, Neutral would, would return to YouTube. Now, if you guys don't know, like Dark Neutral is one of, uh, in my opinion, he's one of the, the founding fathers of Pokemon YouTube. Him, Super Skarmory, Luroy, these guys were the top dogs at the early stages of Pokemon YouTubing before the sidebars came out and all that stuff. Uh, of course, uh, what was it? Like Dark Neutral, his real name is Fur, of course, came out with a boatload of walkthroughs, very interesting intros and all that stuff, and... He just had a very, very good way of conducting his walkers. Even though you can tell that English was not his first language, he still conducted the, the video in a very, very professional manner. And that's what got me into YouTubing. And as you can see, we defeated uh, <laughs> Zuki. So, of course, she was the one with the Pokemon egg. This girl right here, I helped her at the Alex Forest. Of course, she's telling me how about how she or how I defeated Team Rocket with Kurt being hurt and all that stuff. Now, anywho, back to Light Dark Neutral. Light Dark Neutral is the reason why I got into YouTubing 10 years ago. About, I want to say, well, from what he said in his Pokemon Sword uh, video, he does have videos coming out now. Uh, about 12 years ago, he had a lot of videos and all that stuff, and unfortunately, he can't recover the, uh, the, the YouTube account nor the videos. So he has to start off fresh with only 21 subscribers at this point right here. So what I'm going to be doing for, you know, the man, the myth, the legend, the man who started this whole thing 
is I'm going to be feature, uh, featuring him on my channel right there. So go ahead and go onto my channel and find his. Uh, you're going to be easily finding his channel right there. The link to his channel is going to be right down there too to the video. I am going to get this guy his subscribers back. Not well. Not all the subscribers, but I'm going to let everybody know that Light Dark Neutral is back, guys, because this is the guy that really, really set the standard on how to make Pokemon videos. Now, the last time I checked up on this man, yeah, he was playing Pokemon Black and White, and from there, it just, uh, he just disappeared. And, of course, I did have a brief conversation with him, and, yeah, he had a lot of stuff going on. You know, ma ma mainly studies and all that stuff. And you know what? It's a great thing that he's back. I'm glad that he's in good spirits. I'm happy that, you know, everything is well with him. And, well, I'm more than happy to share his channel with every single one of you guys. Just to get reintroduced to this man. If not, get introduced to him. Because for those who are new to my channel right here, Light Dark Neutral is the GOAT. He is the man. He is the myth, the legend. I keep on saying this. He's the guy that inspired Draven to be Draven XC711 and then Gym Leader Draven. So, again, the link is on the description. The link is going to be on my channel. We destroyed, uh, what, what you might call it, uh, Espeon right here. What now, Nako? Yes, I am truly strong. So that's number two right there, and two of my Pokemon have fainted. Now, this third one right here, we found her. Uh, huh. Who did we, where, where did we find her? I think we found her in the basement. We chased away that Team Rocket grunt. Yeah, so here we go, take it on Mickey, and she is coming out with Flareon, so she's already messed up right there. Now, all these Pokemon are going to be at level 38. They are going to be tricky, so make sure to bring a lot of healing items, and your Pokemon that starts off the battle with the Ombreon will be the one battling against every single one of these guys. So make sure to have moves like this, U-turn, to switch out your Pokemon. Unfortunately for me, yeah, Nessie, you're, you're kind of fainted right there. Uh, I thought you were supposed to be strong. Well, then again, your trainer, your trainer's a bit of a, you know who, a bit of a dumbass, so yeah, whatever. And well, as you can see, we got, we got burnt right there. Holy crud. Oh my god. Let's see, let's go right ahead and go with a full heal that way. Oh, you know what, let's revive our Pokemon, because, yeah, with Fluffle, we're not going to really get it around with this Pokemon right here. So, here we go, Fire Blast. Does it do it anything? No, it does not. What's up? And, well, there goes Fluffle. That was a critical hit. God dang it. Oh, yeah, by the way, guys, bring a lot of uh, revives, too, because, yeah, they are a little bit stronger than the one, than the, you know, Kimono Girls from Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So here we go. Surf Attack for the win. Look at that. Flareon nearly faints. Good gravy. And here comes a Will-O-Wisp attack, burning me to a crisp. I am not happy about this. Why would you do that to me? So here we go, a Fire Blast. Will this make my Pokemon faint? I hope not. And yes, wow. So that's what happens when you talk trash to Flareon. Flareon just starts whooping ass right there. So here we go, switching out to Relic. Yes, I got a Pokemon. I got an Eeveelushu of my own, so eat this. I mean, for the win, what's up? Say goodbye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And Relic, of course, gets some more points right there. And yes, we are very, very good at Pokemon, but too bad three of my Pokemon have fainted and all that crud. So, who's who's next? Here comes the fourth one, and this one we met up, uh, pushing her in the ice path. She was actually stuck. And then, of course, she followed me to the Dragon's Den and saw how I passed the test and all that stuff. So, here we go. We're going to be battling against uh, Sayo. Kimono Girl Sayo. And she's coming out with her Jolteon right here. Now, remember, Jolteon is a very, very dangerous Pokemon. It's strong. Strong as heck. But guess what? U-turn. And, oh, crud. Yeah, I forgot that uh, Jolteon's a little faster than me. So, there goes a Thunderbolt attack. And say goodbye to Toxic Batman. Holy crud, I am getting smoked. I am getting smoked here. All right, let's go, Hercules. I got two Pokemon. How much you want to bet I can beat these Pokemon trainers with just two Pokemon? Let's find out. So, of course, Jolteon's going to be a little faster than me, so I'm going to just uh, get paralyzed right here. No biggie. But guess what? Close combat. <clears throat> For the win. I got I had something stuck in my throat right there. Holy crud. And, well, there go. Oh, wow. Did Jolteon survive? 
Yes, it did not survive. Okay, so we are safe right there. Hercules does his thing. We got one more Pokemon trainer to go. Who's next? I think that's a Vaporeon. I am the last one. You're independent at the Golden Rod Tunnel. I am the one who twirls even underground. Huh. Oh wait, so she's the underground tunnel of the wind? Okay, this is Cooney. Okay. Okay, uh, take over the radio tower. Oh yeah, she's the one that uh, was in the underground tunnel map the second time. Anywho, see, here we go. Mini Kimono Girl Cooney is about to battle us, and she's coming out with her Vaporeon. So, here we have our Hercules Paralysis, uh, you know, version. Let's go ahead and start reviving some Pokemon right here, or healing up Pokemon. So, here we go. Full heal to my Hercules. And, well... The status is in trouble, or is not in trouble, but here comes a Surf Attack. How much is this going to take? I don't know. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Let's go for a close combat. It's a bit of a risky move because both its physical and special defense will go down after this attack, and it will be more... It will be a little bit more vulnerable to this attack right here, Surf Attack. So, there we go, Surf Attack. It's probably going to make Hercules faint. It does. I am down to one Pokemon right here. Holy crud in it. How poetic is it that the last Pokemon I have is an Eeveelution? Alrighty, time to eat it. Psybeam for the win. Vaporeon defeated. Fatality. Relic wins. Alrighty. And it grows to level 38 too, so that's pretty cool right there. So there it is. We defeated Cooney, and after defeating the Kimono Girls right here, you guys have will have realized the first part of the legend. You will now be able to go straight to the, I guess, the tower. You will get the clear bell, and this will happen, and all of a sudden, bam. Big Shadow of a Pokemon has come over to the bell tower. Meaning, Ho-Ho has returned. Now, if you guys are playing Soul Silver, it will be Lugia. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be, uh, yeah, oh, crud. We will be legendary in hunting. You guys already know how much I love legendary Pokemon. Yeah, stay tuned, guys, in the next episode Legendary Hunting. See you guys.